Gothenburg, a friendly city on the west coast of Sweden. Home to a vibrant cultural scene, beautiful nature, a fascinating history, and it is the second largest city of Sweden. Hi, I am Martijn, your guide in Gothenburg. After watching this travel guide, you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From the best museums, to a cool district, and islands just outside the city center. If this Gothenburg travel guide has given you new travel tips or maybe you just like it, please give a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. That's the way you can help so other people can discover the video as well. And I get to create new videos for you in the future. The city has its own airport, but it's located 25 kilometers outside the city center. There is a bus service every 20 minutes and the journey takes about 35 minutes. A single journey will set you back between 11 and 13 euros. And another way to travel is by taxi, but more expensive 40 to 50 euros for a one way. It's an easy walkable city, but if you want to use the public transportation, the buses, trams and also the boats, later more about that, you can buy for example a day card for around 14 euros. I figured out that you can use this app to buy your tickets online. It's quite easy and most locations are located in zone A. In a moment more about the best museums in town and a beautiful viewing point. But first, Haga. It was built for the working class a long time ago and it had a really bad reputation. But it changed successfully into a cool and nice neighborhood around the 1980s. There were plans to tore down a lot of buildings over here, but people got together to preserve its character. And that's what happens. Nowadays, beautiful cobblestones, nice houses, and there are boutique shops and restaurants and coffee bars everywhere. A must-see spot in this district is on top of a hill. It's an old fort, Skansen Kronan. It was built in 679 to prevent Sweden from Danish attacks. Although the fortress was never under attack, it has the capacity to withstand it, which is very well represented by the presence of huge cannons. Skansen Kronan used to serve as a prison and a museum for military. And of course there is a beautiful viewing point and you can visit it completely free of charge. At the southwest part of Haga you will find one of the main parks in the city center, Slotskogan. 137 hectares of greenery, including a zoo dating back to 1876. But most important, this is the place to go on a sunny day. In a moment more about a boat ride, but first one of the main museums in the city. The Gothenburg Museum of Art. It opened in 1923, just in time for an international exhibition. And it houses works from the beginning of the 15th century till now. Including work by Van Gogh, Picasso, Chagall and many more. The museum is located next to the Jutta Platze, which was inaugurated for the World Fair in 1923 and has become a signature view of Gothenburg. Architecture, culture and history all in one. A perfect way to explore the city in a different way is from the water. You can easily book a ride on a Padan boat and a Padan boat is a really flat boat because it goes under 20 low bridges. The ride is on a 17th century canal and you also see a part of the harbor. When you see this building you might think it's a church, but it isn't. It's the fish market and because of the building style they call it the fish church. It opened in 1874 and was a technical marvel for that time because the building doesn't have pillars. Inside there are some food stalls and restaurants and at the moment the building is closed for renovation. And then the Universium, an attraction that approaches science topics in an engaging, child-friendly way and has a host of exhibits over seven floors. The enterprise is the ocean zone, but also the indoor tropical rainforest, including colorful birds and monkeys. 
And as you can see, this is a really nice place to go with your whole family. Off the coast of Gothenburg, there are some beautiful, charming islands, and my advice is to visit one of them. They are split up in the northern and southern islands, and today I visit one of them. That's one of the southern islands, and my ferry leaves from Saltholmen. And the ferry to the northern islands leaves from Lila Far Holmem. The southern islands are car free. You can expect, for example, beautiful painted fishing villages, old shipping settlements, and of course, nature. And for example, when you buy a day card for public transportation within Zone A for 14 euros, you can also use it for the ferry. And hop and off between the islands. Something for all ages is a big amusement park in the city center, Liseberi. It opened in 1923. Thrilling rides, lush gardens and a lot of entertainment options. It's open throughout the summer period, but there are limited opening hours in the winter, just like today. I want to give some extra attention to some buildings in the city. For example, the City Hall. The oldest part is from the 17th century and there is also a neo-modern part. It's located on the Gustav Adolf Story, named after the founder of the city. There is the Gothenburg Cathedral. A funny fact is that this was the first cathedral in Sweden with central heating in 1852. And the Kronhuset, one of the oldest buildings in town dating back to 1654. In the past they used it to place military stuff, but nowadays it's a craft center and a tourist hotspot. Another great museum to visit is the Museum of Gothenburg. It took up residence in the Swedish East India Company offices a long time ago. Explore the exciting prehistory, the 19th century life, the development of the modern industrial part of the city, and the only exhibited Viking ship in Sweden. You will find one of the best preserved parks in whole Europe from the 19th century over here, the Garden Society of Gothenburg. This park preserved its charm and character. And there is a beautiful palm house from 1878, and that was inspired by the Crystal Palace from London. Another green spot in town is the Gothenburg Botanical Garden, that covers 175 hectares. A world-class botanical garden with more than 16,000 different species of plants and flowers. Around 12 kilometers from the heart of the city center, you can learn more about Sweden's best-loved automotive brand, which was founded in Gothenburg in 1927, Volvo. You will see almost every model the brand has ever produced, including vintage cars and trucks, as well as concept cars, which were never intended for sale. You already know the fish market or fish church, but there is another market in town dating back to 1888. More than 40 stalls inside and it's mostly packed in the morning with locals looking for the best food. The best time for a visit? I think between May and August in the summer periods. The average temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius and of course the days are longer. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this Gothenburg travel guide. And if you don't want to miss other episodes, just subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.